Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today, as always, and be glad you woke up this morning. Today's topic is going to be suicide, the permanent solution to a temporary problem. <clears throat> Before we begin, smash that like button now and subscribe. And thank you to my 1,370 subscribers. I lost a few, but that's okay. I'll gain a few more back. Two steps forward, one step back is what they say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Suicide. I think if everybody is honest with themselves, they've at one time or another contemplated what it would be like to check out. Most people are afraid to say that. And you have to be careful where you mention that because they may haul you off. I know if you're a younger person and you say anything about suicide, they will take you in for an evaluation against your will. So, but it's important that you talk to somebody about this. If you think about it, I'm not talking about passing thoughts. I'm talking about if you dwell on it or if you're thinking about it for a consecutive amount of days and you start planning it, and you start thinking about how it would be and how people would feel after you were gone and replaying this all in your mind because what you're doing is you're creating a visualization in your mind that you're seeing with your mind's eye. And if you play with that long enough about how you're going to feel when you do it, well, actually, after you're dead, you're not going to feel anything, and how people are going to be sad if you play this out long enough, you may take action on it. <clears throat> and like I said, it's a, it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. These things shall pass, these hard times, these bad times. And if you can just get through it, <clears throat> I'm having a hard time talking this morning. If you can just get through it, when you are through it and look back in retrospect, you will see how it's helped you to grow and become a better person, a person that you like more when you look in the mirror than you did before you went through these hard times. We all had these difficult times. I always compare life to a movie. If you went to watch a movie and the main character got everything he dreamed of and no struggles, no trials, no tribulations, it would be a boring movie. You would probably get up and walk out halfway through the show. Well, life is similar to that movie, except you are the main actor. The reason I brought this up today is because just across the park there, I seen the police go there this morning. I wasn't sure what it was. I couldn't see. It was raining. And then later I found out that uh, someone had killed themselves, a high school kid. Maybe they had just graduated, committed suicide over there. And I thought how sad that was because this kid had this, his whole life or her whole life ahead of her. I'm not sure if it was a boy or a girl. And they felt so down and desperate and discouraged that they thought it would be better if they took their life. And as I said, I understand that that thought has crossed my mind. Um, but I realize that if you play with that thought too long, you may take action on it. But as I said, it is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Reach out and get some help. There are so many people out there that want to help you that would like to help you get through this time. I know sometimes you may feel like you're all alone, that nobody cares about you, that what's the point in getting up and trying one more day because it just seems like it gets worse. But these times that you're dealing with these difficult feelings, they are for you. They are for your growth. They are for your good. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. So you can become that person that you have the dream about within you. We all have a dream. You have one too. You just think that it's impossible for you to ever achieve it. But these times you're struggling through will build that character to help you to move towards that dream, that goal, that reason that you are here. And you just have to try to look at it that way. If you want that success, you want to be that person, you want that fame, that money, that prosperity, that whatever it is you desire, these things that are happening in your life right now are bringing out the, the dross within you, the bad things, the, the garbage that you need to get out. This brings that crap out of you. 
I like the saying, for in fire gold is tested, and in and worthy men in the crucible and women in the crucible of humiliation. Humiliation sometimes is we are humbled by life. And when we're at a point where we're thinking about killing ourselves, we are really humbled by life and we feel like we just don't know what to do. What's the point? I give up. But don't give up. Get back up and move forward. Reach out for help. Ask someone to help you with your problems. And you will both grow and benefit from it. And the day will come when you will be able to help someone else who is feeling as you are feeling today. So never give up. As I said, get up and try one more time. My life has been a succession of many failures. People are taught in school that failure is bad. If you get an F on your report card, you're afraid to bring it home and show it to your parents. Well, now I guess they email them. <laughs> but in my day, you had to bring an actual paper card home and your parents had to sign it. Because if you failed, you're bad, right? You're not good. You're not good enough. But it's only by failing that you find success. Thomas Edison had tried 10,000 times to find the filament that he could keep burning to create the light bulb. And someone asked him, this is an old story, most of you know it, someone asked him how he, how he could continue, how did he just keep going after all those failures? He says, I haven't failed. You don't understand. He said, I found 10,000 ways that it won't work, and now I'm one more way closer to finding what will work. So when you fail in life, you're not, you're not a failure. That's not the end unless you give up. Don't give up. Get up and keep moving forward. I've failed many times, as I've said. Babe Ruth had more strikeouts than anyone in baseball history, but he had more home runs than anyone in baseball history up until uh, the guy from St. Louis, but I'm not sure if they... But, but the guy in St. Louis, what was his name? I can't remember, but... It was in the last 20 years, but he actually played more games, so he had more opportunities. But the point is, both of those men probably struck out more than most people, so they failed more than most people. Or did they fail? No, it's not failure. It's the progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal. You're going to have setbacks, discouragement, disappointments, and what they call failures. But they're not failures. They're stepping stones to success your success and all you have to do is take one more step take one more step in that direction and the one more step you take might be the final one that gets you to where you want to go or at least gets you to where you can see the light at the end of the tunnel i understand depression i understand i've suffered from depression i had to take i didn't have to but i took medication i chose to and it helped get me through but if you take the medication, I'm not a doctor and I'm not telling you to get on or get off medication, but I will say this. If you take any kind of medication for depression, you need to work on the problem because the medication just deals with the symptom. Depression is the symptom of a deeper problem. And if you don't do something about the problem, get some therapy, counseling, group counseling, it's still going to be there. Okay, I don't take anything now. I haven't taken anything for years, okay? But... If something happened, let's say I came home and my family was murdered, I can't say that I wouldn't take something to help me get through that along with getting some counseling to deal with that. If I couldn't handle it, it would be difficult. So I have nothing against, you know, doctor's help. I'm not anti-doctor or anti-medication. I am for fixing yourself, working on yourself by looking within and not trying to cover it up with any kinds of medication, drugs, alcohol, whatever. But whatever you need to help you get through to deal with whatever's happening to you to make or for you to make sense of it. It's just really your life is a series of uh, uh, situations and it's all how you perceive these situations. As I said earlier, is life happening to you or for you? You have the choice of how to look at it. So choose today to look at life as it's happening for you. Even if you don't understand, even if it's miserable, even if it's disheartening, believe that it's happening for you and thus in the end you will be able to see in retrospect that it was happening for you. Okay, that's all I have time for today. Take care, 
Get up, go out, have a great day, serve someone else.